Since the ganglionic antibody test is often done as part of a panel of other antibodies, it will inevitably be positive in some patients who do not actually have autonomic autoimmune failure. Our study shows that antibody levels less than 0.2, particularly in patients without clinical features of autonomic failure, have little clinical importance. For the future of this antibody specifically, we need to correlate antibody levels with autonomic symptoms and other features not captured by the autonomic reflex screen. More broadly, the field of autoimmune neurology and our understanding of the role of autoantibodies in other autonomic disorders is growing. For example, postural tachycardia syndrome, or POTS, is an increasingly recognized disorder of orthostatic intolerance and other symptoms that in some cases may be due to autoantibodies and immune system dysfunction. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.